Hello, it's Jesse here, and we're going to be working on this 1979 Triumph Bonneville. We're going to be changing out a set of clutch discs. Um, this um, the situation was is uh, they're not bad. It's just they're not functioning properly because the discs that are in here aren't compatible with 70 and later. Um, Motor, motorcycles that have this breather back here okay so then they just don't function as good as they could so what we're going to do is remove some couple of things here and then take this cover off and swap out the disc set here so what i got here is a nice new set it's a seven disc set it's got an extra steel plate in it um, originally the motorcycles all had six plates but they're thinner right through here and there's um yeah so this is a better disc set it comes with a set of springs here specifically for this set and we're going to probably try to swap out these these uh rubber um buffers here that go on the clutch hub because uh it's all rubber mounted stuff and uh it actually is ice like um it just makes a better ride, so and it uh, helps with the shifting and stuff. So it's buffer for actually shifting, so it doesn't clunk around and stuff when you shift gears. Now, um, on my uh, '77 Bonneville, we had just put a clutch set in it not too long ago, and it was not the right style. So we really had to to crank on the adjustment to get the function properly and stop slipping. So we'll probably be doing one for that as well. But um, the whole main purpose was is to get this set of discs out of it because I would have to break the break the clutch, clutch loose because it would stick after a while. And it got to be annoying. Um, I'd forget sometimes putting gear to a wheelie or kill it, <laughs> depending on the situation. So, uh, um, yeah, so we're just going to be doing things the right way around here. So stay tuned. We're going to start tearing this thing apart. All right, we're gonna start off by draining this. There's a there's a little plug right here, a cap. See that right there? All right, so we take that off, or out, I mean, and it'll drain. Inside there, though, there is a, a provision with a screw in it that actually adjusts the primary train. But taking this cap off also works as a drain. So we're gonna work on that here. All right. Stand by while I work on that. All right, so there we are. We got it off and or out, and then starting to drain. So next, we'll work on taking this uh, primary loose here. These all have um, Allens in it. That started in '79. And then that was the first year, '79. Uh, they started doing Allen screws. So that is correct. And then we'll take this foot peg off here and the shifter lever there. So we'll just go around there and take the, break them loose and run them out. All right, so taking off this uh, foot peg here, there's a, there's a nut on the back side here. It's really hard to get to. Um, the best way to get to it is through back through here. Um, hold on to it and then wrench it off on the front outside right here off so hold on here okay. there we go so we loosened it up and dropped it down so we didn't really have to take it all the way off um that saves putting it back together. there is a it's kind of hard to see but there is a um maybe i can turn the, the, the light on here no i really can't so there's a little hole right there see it right there yeah yeah right there um there's actually a little spot on this footrest here it actually lines up into there seeking so it in the right position so works out pretty good see there there's a foot back here little spots here for it to line up so there we go we'll work on taking this primary cover off some more all right we're gonna take this off and then 
work on taking these out. Copper washers that seal behind these nuts. All the front nuts there, they got a copper washer. Yep. An extra seal. Um, this plug here is for is for timing. Yeah, for helping to time. They can it's a window. And this one back here is for Clutch. A clutch adjustment. There's a like right inside there. There's the nut, so you can like go in and out with it to change your uh, clutch tension for your cable. All right, so we're about ready to pop this off here. A couple more to break loose and run out. There. Yeah, that's a, takes a bigger one in there. All right, stand by, stay tuned, we'll keep going at this. Okay. All right, let's take the cover off there. Uh, screws in. Smooth. All right, put the oil on. Be careful with the gasket, because that's a new gasket. We're gonna reuse it if we can. This stays, so you have to press here. Turn this down so it quits dripping. All right. So we have our uh, clutch here, of course, the primary chain. Our alternator. Yeah, pretty much the alternator. We have a couple different components here. We have the stator and the. And, uh, Here's your timing marks. So let's see if we can get a good view of that. It's like timing marks and stuff. One's bottom dead center, one's top dead center. Then, here's your, when you take the window out, there's a pointer right here. Oh yeah, right there. So that lines up with with a mark when you put a strobe light on. Oh, I made a mess. Imagine that. Yeah. The oil, the oil came out when we took the cover off. <laughs> Not when we drained it. <laughs> I turned it over. How the hell did that happen? Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. So next step is we got to take this out. Look how tight I got this. This is way too tight. And I had to do that to keep it from slipping. Oh yeah, that's right. So like I was saying earlier, um, it was slipping. So we had to really wrench it down. And usually the threads aren't hanging out that far. No, they're only like right here. Yeah, right here. Threads. So when we we had to wrench them all the way in, and then it had left this much out just so it stopped slipping. So that's not right. That's why we're switching it out. All right, there's a special tool there to to back those special nuts out. That's about where it usually sits at when it's when when they're correct. Yeah, when they're correct, it's set up right. But we yeah, had to tighten decent. it up so hard, and that made the clutch lever pull so hard. That's hard on the clutch cable, and it's hard on your arm, and just, you know, you have to use the clutch a lot when you drive a bike. Every time you stop, you then you end up shifting, and it's got five gears, so just think about how many times <laughs> you're that. pulling that clutch lever in. Exactly. All right, so we're about ready to pop this apart now. They're really long-winded. Didn't want to watch all that. <laughs> so, <laughs> fast forward a little bit here. The spring seems to be stuck in there. Yeah. But that's okay. We pull it out of there now. Always pull that. That spring should not be stuck in there. Great. Well, might have to might have to pull harder somehow. 
Yeah, we need to have that part, part back. We can't like not use it. We gotta. Yeah, I gotta reuse it. So, so anyway, yeah. we'll worry about it. Right now, I wanna take these out of here. Oh, that's good. A bunch of gang of ones. These are the ones that, they're nice clutches. These are brand new. They probably don't have 100 miles on them. But this motor breathes through. There is no seal behind here, behind the main pulley or sprocket. And so it breathes back and forth through there. It comes out up here. And the oil comes out of the motor and is self-leveling. Uh, there is a series of holes, and it's hard to see right now, but there's some holes back here, and then it lets oil back into the motor. So that's how that's how it self levels. So what it amounts to is this was all new from 1970, right? Yes, and all the all the T140s did it. For so them. when they uh, all the T140s did it, yeah. and so yeah. and then what happens is these clutches end up having oil in it because the oil level's a little higher than 68 and 69s and earlier. Yeah. And so, then of course we had the 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 frame the frame as the tank. It's all happened about the same time. I mean cuz pretty close. Pretty close because 1970 still had the the oil tank on the side there and then 1971 we've seen that one. So it had in the frame here just like this one does. So anyway strong enough. Oh, that's too bad. There you go. Yeah. And then, yeah, these clutches are designed for like 69s and 68s. Yeah, these clutches work real good with the non-breather motor. Too bad we don't have any of them. Yeah. So if anybody needs some clutches for those, just let us know. We're going to end up having three sets of them. <laughs> we thought we were buying the hot ticket, but as it turns out, we're finding out the other way. All right, so there they are. They're all out now, finally. So, this. Now, to get to the, the buffers, we're going to work on trying to get the buffers. We got I don't know if these are actually bad or not, but the tattletale sign is, is that you get rubber oozing. And see here, I thought I'd seen this the last time I was working on this bike. You know, you start seeing that rubber break down and squeezing out through yeah, there. Yeah, oozy. See, there's rubber goo. And then the oil must... It's melt. The oil's melting it. Yeah. So these these rubbers, if they're not gone, they're not gone yet because I don't hear any noise when I shift and it's smooth. But it's not going to be long. So. Well, we're in here, so that makes perfect sense to do this now. Yeah. So now we got to put this in. We're gonna have to put this in here. All right, so we're breaking this gun up not loose. Um, main shaft on transmission. Main shaft on transmission. I we cheated by uh, me holding the rear brake down, so he had he was able to break it loose. Nice easy trick there. Uh, 
Real thick washer. Oh yeah, it is thick washer. Okay, now we want to get this off. Sometimes these pull off. Sometimes they don't. If they don't, it's going to be a bugger to get that apart. And I might even have to use a gear puller, but I got to be able to get behind it. All right, we're kind of taking that apart here. So, yeah, we don't want to take the whole primary part. So, we'll work on taking that apart here. So, stay tuned here. All right, so we hooked up a, a steering wheel puller on here, so we can work on pulling this uh, this center hub part out. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, see how this works. Because um, it was work. stuck. Um, sometimes they're loose and sometimes they're not, and. Apparently this time it's not loose, so we'll see if we can pull this thing out of here now. Not with that. So we mainly just put this string wheel puller on here, and then we ran them hub screws nuts back in there up against it tight. We didn't want it loose because we don't want it to like tear on the bolt at all. And we don't want the clutch hub center to come loose. And we don't want the center to come loose, so we have to like push on this. How are we going to get it back on? Um, oh, I didn't know that was going to be an issue. <laughs> it's coming out. Let's, uh, I guess let's we'll, work on this for I a while. I guess we'll here. tap on it back in. Yeah. All right. Stand by and uh, stay tuned. And we'll get to some more of this. Okay, so when we got that off there, there's our uh, our roller bearings right there. We want to make sure they don't fall out, of course. <clears throat> I, think so, I think there's 20 of them in there. 20? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And then, Memory so how does that right. look? So this looks like... It looks pretty tarry. Okay, yeah. See where the rubber was breaking down? these possibly? rubbers are melting down inside. So now we're going to take this part These square-headed bolts are right back are actually what these turn on these bolts here are cut and peened so they're going to come apart kind of hard that's not going to be easy either all right so these bolts go in the back here and then they come out the other side and we got to peen them in because we do not these do not want to come loose while this is running okay so this has to be put right back the way this is so we're going to take these out and then once we run the bolts back through we're going to peen them again and that way it locks into the the hub this hub piece here or at least lock tight good. or lock them in good somehow like like lock lock tight or something yeah somehow um, so all right stay tuned here so here we are we're taking this loose now um this is an easily overlooked item that can really have a lot of impact on how this quality of the ride this motorcycle can be. Well, it can actually tear up the transmission. That's another thing. Yeah, tearing up the transmission because this helps the shifting be smoother. Plus shock when you shift. So it's 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 a buffer. Yeah, it's, yeah, pretty much. Like you said, it's a buffer. Anybody that slams gears. So we're interested in what <clears throat> this looked like on the inside for being uh, about 42 years old, you know, 79. Motorcycle has never been we're original. Pretty, we're pretty positive these are original. Yeah. The chances <clears throat> are really good that these are original in here yet. So. Okay. 
Okay, now we gotta pull this cover off. Okay, let's take this rubber is really deteriorating, but it's also took on a different shape. <laughs> and yeah. it's kind of melted right into there. So that's but, what the inside of it looks like. Um, we took the cover off of it and just came out of here. Yeah. Oh. So now we're just checking them over. It's actually hardened in life here. It's it's, yeah, they're getting really And it's hard. swollen and taking different shapes shape because of possibly oil to get in there and, you know, doing stuff to it. So now we're going to dig these things out. Yeah, I'm going to continue on the big one. And then uh, we'll get clean this thing up. And turn it. So. Yeah, yeah, then we got to clean up all the parts. We should take a picture of this so we can put the big ones to work. Where they belong because you don't want to put them in the wrong spot. Yeah, this is how it goes. And this centerpiece moves because, like I said, this is a dampener or a buffer or something like that. So this well, is. Well, this bolts up to the transmission. This bolts up to the clutch. And every time you shift or let out the clutch, it they can work like actuates, this. You know, actuates inside yeah. there. All right. So we're going to make a reference picture here. Okay, so we dug them things bottom. out. It's and fatter. it's fatter there in the bottom. Thinner at the top. Thinner at the top. It's also recessed. See, it's got the splines all the way at the bottom. And it's recessed for that thick washer and nut on the top. And that goes yeah. in like this. Well, I'm glad we took this apart because they're in a pretty rough shape over here. And we don't, want the, we don't want this, this part that moves here. Or they both move, but we don't want this part here smacking up against metal because then that causes wear. Eventually, this would just all dissolve. Yeah. I guess. So I'm guessing. We're gonna get this cleaned up here and yep. start putting it back together and make it look brand new again. With new buffers. Alright, uh yeah with new buffers, so stay tuned. Alright, so here we are, we got it all cleaned up, ready to put this back together. Um these are rebuildable, of course you watched this all right here, but um you know, sometimes if you don't have the right tools or whatever and it don't want to mess with it you can probably just look for one and buy a new one uh they like cost a little bit over 100 bucks or so for a new one together one way okay these holes with the square little indents there or the next to here are for these square headed bolts so they go there and they go through the big hole okay the ones that are on the outside are the ones that go through here that were peened so right. Yep. This goes just like this. Okay. Then, see, then it goes, there's one in the middle of each Yeah, one. so we see this one piece here. We can see that the kind of wear that this thing was doing. This piece was. That that triangle looking piece was doing. And so, you can see some wear there too. So it actuates back and forth. And it, every time you it was, accelerate uh, or decelerate yeah, or every shift. Every time you accelerate or decelerate. But, um, it caused a little bit of a groove there, but it's it's not like wore out or nothing. So, well, even if it is, we're using it. We can reuse it. We are going to pop these out of here. These are new compared to the old ones. Yeah, those are the old ones. Kind of wore out and pieces of coal. <laughs> So now we're going to put some new pieces in here. How do you suppose these go? Yeah, like that. Goes like this, huh? Yep. Now, do you remember which way they went? According to this, the where, the big one's here and the little one's there. So, I think what I'm going to do is put the big one in little ones in first flip it over or yeah something like that sure yeah they only go one way yeah and I did this one wow oh. I really compressed that to get that in there Wow. Yeah, I think it goes like that. Okay. 
So we'll work on this for a little bit here. Might have to take some extra hands to smash them in there. I have to squeeze it with a pair of channel locks. Okay, here we go. We got one set in. The small one and the big one. We used them using the channel locks across here and pulled it. We got it in. So now we're hoping that we can get these rest of them in now. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Just might have made it tougher to get all of them back in. Okay. While we now we gotta put another big one in. Big one goes like this, huh? Yeah, the words out. It says, it says made UK, UK on it. Looks like they all go words out. So. Yeah, well. Good luck with that, maybe. Okay, I'll squeeze. Yeah, I'll see if you can squeeze that. Push this in. Yeah, I got it. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, wow. Holy smokes. Okay. Alright. So now we got one more set to do. One more set. Okay, I just ended up squeezing that one in. There was enough clearance. So let's see what, if we can get this one in now. Or not. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Yeah. No, I can't get it in there. Not even started? No. All right, we got him in there. But in the process, we end up throwing this out of alignment so we're just gonna turn a little bit should be able to line it back up should be able to turn it I think oh better hold your hand there I'm going the wrong way I oh, went too far there there it is there, now we're lined up. Yeah. Good, we got together the right way too. We're so. all in there. <laughs> now it's now a fine gotta, time to find out we did it backwards or something, you know? Now we gotta put <laughs> this and line it up. Let's see through the hole. start okay so we're gonna this is pretty much ending the first segment of part one here next step will be all putting it all back together um so overview of this little bit here we took the clutch out about we we worked on taking this apart and put new new uh, uh buffers. buffers and stuff in there i couldn't think of the word there for a second and uh but we're gonna get new bolts yeah we're gonna get new bolts uh here's the clutch we removed um it was Fairly new, but we're going to put the, the seven we're disc narrower the, one in. We're going to reuse all the plane plates. Oh, yeah, the plane plates. We're going to reuse all those. So, But, um, yeah, so stay tuned for um, part two on this. We'll be putting this thing all back together. So, hope you enjoyed this, and uh, see you again soon.